Welcome to IncreaseRSS.com's video tutorial series. In this video, we will discuss how to set up a local host on your computer. With a local host, web designers can work offline, building their websites, utilizing web tools, and troubleshooting any issues that might arise in the construction of their website, all without being connected to the internet. This is done by installing and setting up a local host web server on your computer or network which simulates the remote servers that a website resides on when it goes live. There are many programs designed to set up a local host server on your system, with varying levels of integration and functions. For this video, we will be installing the web server package XAMP. XAMP is compatible across the different operating system platforms, which means it will work on Windows, Mac, and other operating systems. It also contains the necessary secondary programs needed to run a web server on your local system. To download and install XAMP, go to www.apachefriends.org and click the XAMP icon in the top menu. Then select the version of XAMP that matches your operating system, saving the installation file to a location on your computer where you will be able to find it. When you run the XAMP installation program, pay close attention to where you install the program to. This location will be important when working with your local host site. For our video, we will install XAMP to the C drive. As XAMP installs, it will simultaneously install other programs needed to operate your local host. It also gives you the option to install FileZilla a program that allows you to connect to a site server by way of an FTP, or File Transfer Protocol. An FTP is an efficient way of accessing the files on your website server. You can download and upload files and even overwrite pre-existing files if updating a component of your site, instantly applying the changes to your site once the upload is complete. This tool will be invaluable to you as a web designer once you put your website online. However, when working with a local host, you will not need an FTP because you will be able to access your files directly on your computer or network, just as you would through a file transfer protocol. When given the option, you may install FileZilla for future use, but you will not need it when working on your site locally. The installation can take several minutes to complete, but thanks to editing, we can show the process completed within seconds. Once the installation is complete, XAMP will open a control panel. In this control panel, you will see the current operational status of the different programs managed by XAMP. The two programs that need to be running are MySQL and Apache HTTP Server. These programs may fail to run if you've previously installed another version of these programs on your system. The way to fix this problem is by uninstalling the failed program and then reinstalling it. The best way to do this is by opening the XAMP control panel and clicking the white box with the check mark next to the name of the program. This will uninstall the program you select, but only after you confirm that you want to uninstall by clicking OK. To reinstall the program, simply click the now empty box, which will reapply the check mark and prompt that you do in fact want to install the program, to which you should click OK, and the program will once again be installed. The second method for uninstallation and reinstallation is to navigate to the installation folder for both programs, which you can find by going to and opening the XAMP program folder, which for this video is saved on the C drive. Open the folder named XAMP. Inside, you will find among other folders and files, the folder named Apache and the folder named MySQL. Inside each, you will find a file labeled underscore uninstall service. Depending on which program you're working on, it will either read Apache underscore uninstall service or MySQL underscore uninstall service. Run these files to remove the problem programs. A window will open, initializing the uninstallation process, and will ask you to press any key once finished to close the window. Once the program is removed, you will need to reinstall it. In the same folder as the uninstall file, you will also find an install file for that program. The file names will be mysql underscore install service and apache underscore install service respectively. Run these files following the removal of each program. 
and the program will be reinstalled and should now read as running when you click start in the exam control panel next to the program name. And finally, we're going to walk through setting your database password. By default, there is no password. Even though your localhost server is secure, leaving your database without a password on a remote server leaves your system open to security breaches. Setting a password even on a local host puts you in the right frame of mind to always be protected. In your browser, type into the address bar http colon forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash php my admin and press enter. This will bring up the database control panel. At the top, you will see several subsections. Click on privileges. In the table at the top of this new page, you need to find the row that reads root localhost all privileges and click the edit icon in the action column. This takes you to the page where you can set and save your password. In the change password section, type and then retype your password and then click go to save. To make sure your database is configured and saved properly, go to your XAMPP folder and open the subfolder PHP My Admin and open the file named config.inc.php in a text editing program. On line 24 is the setting for the saved password associated with your database. Make sure that between the apostrophes is the password you just saved. If there's nothing between the apostrophes, type your password there now and click save. Also check line 26, allow no password, which should equal false, followed by a semicolon. If it says true, change true to false, and again click save. This is necessary to ensure that you will be able to consistently access your database without error. With XAMPP, Apache, and MySQL all running properly, you can now test your local host. Open your web browser and navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash localhost and press enter. If the page loads the XAMPP logo across your screen, congratulations, you've successfully set up your local host and have taken the first step towards building your website. For more blogs, podcasts, and videos, log on to www.increaserss.com.